Hi everyone, let's get started making this crock pot meal. And I'm going to start by putting half a stick of butter in a pan. Uh, that's four tablespoons and then I will add four tablespoons of flour. And I'll get that all browned up. And then I'm going to add a teaspoon of garlic powder teaspoon of onion powder, half a teaspoon of salt, and a half a teaspoon of black pepper. Stir that around a little bit. And I've got a um, measuring pitcher in the microwave heating the water, and I'm just going to add three cups of water and um, three beef bouillon cubes to that and get that dissolved. And then I'll be pouring that into the skillet. And I'm just going to cook that until it's all bubbly and thickens up a little bit. And uh, and it will thicken up more in the crock pot because I'm going to be cooking that for a few hours. And right here I'm adding uh, about a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. You can add more just uh, to your liking. And I'm going to continue cooking that. And then I'm going to pour it into the four cup measuring pitcher. Now I, I started with three cups of water and it uh, cooked down to about two cups. So I'm gonna pour about a third of that into the crock pot. And then here I'm adding some sirloin tip steaks and also some beef chuck eye steaks. I had a small package of both, so I'm just gonna put those in there. Um, I'm kind of layering it with the gravy and the steaks and then I'm going to cook that on high for about two hours. After two hours I will put some potatoes in there. Uh, my potatoes are pretty, I've cut them into pretty large chunks so it's going to take a while. So I'll put those in there and then I will cook that for about another hour and then I'll add the carrots. And uh, I like to saute my carrots in a pan first on the stove top and just get those nice and brown first. I don't know why, I just think those they taste better that way. So then I'll add those to the crock pot and I will continue cooking that until everything is as tender as I would like it. And that's, uh, I'm probably gonna cook that for about another two hours, maybe three. And there you see the carrots that I'm sauteing. And I've got everything in the crock pot, so I'm just gonna put the lid on there and, and just forget about it for, I'm gonna set my kitchen timer for uh, about two more hours to check it, and then that should be fine. And so here's the finished meal, no fancy ingredients, and tastes delicious.